Hey everybody, Peeves here. Product placements in games aren't exactly a new thing. Everyone knows stuff like Sneak King, the Burger King game, Cool Spot, the SNES Sprite game, and the really famous one. Hey, that game's pretty weird. Maybe I should make a video about it. Oh wait, everybody already did! There's already plenty of great videos talking about those games on the internet, so I wanted to talk about some of the more obscure and less discussed games that have product placements in them. Games that go too far. I mean, we're talking about art here, tainted by corporate advertising, the artistic direction ruined. I think you'll agree with me that anyone that would stoop to these levels has absolutely no self-respect whatsoever. Anyway, let's do it. A lot of games have random product placements. Games like Crazy Taxi come to mind. Take me to Pizza Hut! Okay, hang on. Yes, these people love Pizza Hut and KFC, but nowhere near as much as they love paying you to pointlessly endanger their own life. Ah! But this fairly obvious in-game advertisement is nothing compared to the first game we're talking about today, Biker Mice from Mars. This is a fairly normal racing game based on an animated series of the same name. It came out for the Super Nintendo in 1994, and overall, it was a pretty typical racing game. Assuming you didn't live in Europe, that is. The PAL version of Biker Mice from Mars is absolutely filled with Snickers advertisements. In fact, the first thing you see when you turn the game on is brought to you in association with Snickers. They put it right up at the front like it's some kind of YouTube sponsorship. What? I've gotta eat. Obviously, there's the big Snickers logo in the middle of the screen, but you'll notice the characters themselves are all holding Snickers. Even the evil scientist character that wants to turn everyone into mutants is holding a Snickers. Right next to the mutant formula, I presume? That doesn't seem like a thing you'd want to associate with your candy bar, but I'm just an idiot on the internet, so what do I know? I think I'm gonna choose Mr. Limburg here, which may not be the best choice considering he seems to be making a direct personal threat against me, but uh, his stats seem pretty good, so uh, uh, that, that, this, this works. I just can't get over the fact that he's only a freaking Snickers. That stupid smile and the music playing. I'm so excited to start my biker from Mars journey. I just gotta eat this Snickers real quick. <laughs> All right, so you want to win the race, you're going to need the best. So what do you want? The V8 engine, the twin radial tires, the blue Targaryen beam? One or a Snickers? Just a Snickers. What? It's two? It's two thousand five hundred dollars? Am I reading this correctly? The Plutocarian Beam 1 costs less than a freaking Snickers. Once you actually start racing, it's pretty fun, honestly. It has tank controls, kind of like that bumper balloon cars minigame in Mario Party. Holding forward will always move your character in the direction they're currently facing, and turning left will always turn them to the left, etc. It kind of feels like what I would imagine a Super Nintendo pod racing game would be like, you know, just with Snickers everywhere. Snickers signs in almost every level all over the place, including the sewer level. Again, I'm just an idiot, but I don't know if this right next to this is really the... You know what? It is old. I know I'm giving advice. This, this, I'm just gonna move on. Even winners need something to satisfy their hunger. <laughs> There's a lot of items, but the one you want is Snickers, naturally. It's by far the best out of all the power-ups as far as I can tell. With the power of Snickers, not only can you go super fast, you can even blow people up. It's working! It's working! <laughs> or you can just do that. It wasn't my fault. Really? All right, things aren't looking so great for Mr. Limburger here. I'm in last place and I can no longer afford to buy any Snickers upgrades because they're $5,000 now. It must be some kind of rare delicacy in the future or something. Or is this taking place in the future? I honestly don't really know the storyline of this game now that I think about it. It's time for our last chance. The ultimate weapon. Snickers power! I'm still in last place. Well, I lost and got turned into whatever this thing is, and it looks like I'm gonna be murdered by this spiky trap thing in a few seconds. But by far the worst part about all this is that I can no longer satisfy my hunger with Snickers. B. 
because I'm dead. Davis sets the screen for Hargrave. He tosses the lob and... Reese's Puffs! I don't talk about it much on this channel, but I've always been a big fan of the NBA, specifically the Dallas Mavericks, since that's where I was born. Go Dirk! You're retired, but you can still win somehow! Yeah! But other than NBA Jam and Wii Sports Resort, I never really played many basketball video games. That is until 2015, when I played NBA 2K on my gameplay channel. Yeah, it's good! It's good, I made the team! Things just aren't gonna work out for you with this team. I'm ready to ball. I was completely joking around and never intended to play it for real, but I gave the my career mode a shot and, uh, kinda got addicted. I'm actually in the NBA Finals with my point guard in the current version. Uh, maybe I'll let you guys know how it goes. I lost. Anyway, product placements! Yeah! We have an idea that we think could be mutually beneficial for all of us. So all I have to do is re-release the same game we already made with minor changes for anywhere from 60 to $100, depending on whether you buy the standard edition, legend edition, or legend gold edition, not to mention the virtual currency we sell for real money in game, and then plaster your brands in front of our paying customers' faces throughout their entire experience. And I get more money. That's exactly, exactly right. That's sim yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple. Are you serious? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. do it. And boy, did they do it. This game has an insane amount of ads in it. And maybe it's because I don't follow any video game sports content, but I never hear anyone bring up just how over the top it is. Similar to a real basketball game, you've got little advertisements in the arena, ruffles, Reese's Puffs, stuff like that. But that's only the start of it. Just like real life athletes, if you play well enough, your character can get sponsors and be in advertising. These aren't all that bad since it is at least a realistic part of the NBA experience for top talents and you do get paid virtual fake money for it at least. And hey, they're pretty hilarious too, so that's always a plus. I don't know when I took this picture, all I know is I've never looked better. Hey look, there's me up with Michael Jordan. Hey look, there's me with Gatorade. Hey look. There's me with Foot Locker. And now with all that real fake money I earned, I can finally increase my stamina by one point. Yeah! Nice. And again, I want to reiterate that not only do they have so many advertisements, this is a game that cost at least $60 that wants you to pay for virtual coins. Real money! Are you telling me I could get 450,000 fake money for only 100 real money? What a deal! But I can't really afford that right now, so I guess I'll have to do a few more pictures with Michael Jordan. <laughs> Alright, well, I haven't been playing so well recently. I need to train. And where better to go to train than the Gatorade Training Facility? Gatorade! 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 Gatorade Science! <sighs> We're doing so much science right now. This is for you, Gatorade. I'll do anything for you, Gatorade. Just sign another check for me. 17 Gatorades in total. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Especially thank you to Gatorade. I'm going to pass this hand-eye coordination exercise because I drank so many Gatorades before this. I'm sorry, Gatorade. I do, I'll do better next time. I'll do better next time. Gatorade. What better way to spend my fake money that you buy with real money than to buy more Gatorade? What can I get for you today? Gatorade, please. We'll take the lot. I would have won the NBA Finals if I had just ate 10 entire Gatorade fuel bars. God, I'm such an idiot. Actually, I seriously might have won. These are some pretty good buffs. Get her, 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 get her. Up next, we have a Super Nintendo game about mayonnaise. Specifically, mayonnaise. Ajinomoto is a Japanese company that sells various forms of cooking products and seasonings, and one of those products is, of course, mayonnaise. To advertise their mayonnaise, they decided for whatever reason to create our next game, Motoko-chan no Wonder Kitchen. As far as I can tell, they only created 10,000 versions of the game which they gave away in a contest, so it's a little bit hard to find, but luckily I was able to find an emulated version, so let's check it out. Let's enjoy cooking with Motoko-chan in Wonder Kitchen. I think this character would be a lot cuter if she, uh, had an eyeball. Um, 
I have no idea what's going on right now, but I do feel pretty happy. I just can't help but feel like I really want some mayonnaise. Off to mayonnaise heaven! Or just this kitchen, I guess. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, but it is pretty cool to be playing a game that uses the SNES mouse, which is something I didn't even know existed until now. Um, we're going under the sink, I guess? What the heck? So we went from a kitchen to a witch's room, and now we are watching her sleeping. I didn't know what to expect when I started playing a game about mayonnaise, but I do know that I didn't expect it to be this. Most of the stuff I read about Motoko-chan no Wonder Kitchen likened it to Cooking Mama, but in actuality, it really doesn't have that much to do with cooking at all. It's mostly just a very weird experience where you solve absurd puzzles by clicking on things a bunch of times. It's basically Putt-Putt Trippy Mayonnaise Edition. Am, am I winning? I think I'm... I think I might be winning. After you click on stuff enough times, or however the heck this game works, you'll eventually find three memos, aka mayonnaise-related recipes. And then you jump into things like this painting, Mario 64 style, and then... Um... I'm not sure. I know one thing and one thing only. It's that I don't know what the heck this has to do with mayonnaise. For a while I got mega lost and had absolutely no idea what to do, so I went back to the witch lady. Clicking on her starts a game of Reversi, which is a strategy game I've never played before. I figure I'd probably need to beat her to unlock something. The only problem is... I am apparently really, really bad at Reversi. In fact, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. it. Me. No, he's gonna take the whole middle. What do I do? Oh, all this can stop that. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. No. Me. Oh my god. For fuck's sake. I won! Did you? I won! I won! Okay, never mind, I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that you don't even need to beat her at Reversi, though, or at least I'm pretty sure you don't, because absolutely nothing happened after that. Instead, I went to a space sky castle, and then... JK. We went to a pirate ship where we found all the ingredients needed for our first cooking recipe. But before we get to make it, we hear from the mayonnaise gnome. And the mayonnaise gnome has a few stories to tell us. Mayonnaise was discovered right here. This guy was really upset about mayonnaise until someone gave him a cake with mayonnaise on top of it. And then he got real happy and declared that everyone be forced to buy brand mayonnaise every day for the rest of their lives or face the penalty of beheading. This lady was the first to not listen, and here is her head. Later in the game, he tells us more mayonnaise stories, like how mayonnaise will make you sick with Dr. Mario disease, and a story about how people were polled about which brand of mayonnaise they liked. 70% said they like mayonnaise, and 30% were killed, just like in the olden times. Or else. And now we finally get to do the cooking part. Considering all the instructions are in Japanese, it took me a little while to finish it. Step one, place your lettuce in the sink. A whole bunch of times. Pour water on it. Just keep putting it in there again. Of course, add some mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is life. BRB injecting mayonnaise straight into my veins. And done! Some kind of tomato dish with mayonnaise. After that, you go on a couple more crazy adventures to find all the ingredients you need for your recipes, and then you, of course, get to cook them. Up first, a veggie omelet. The best part about this one is once it's done, we get to decide how much mayonnaise to add. The secret is, if you can see even a shade of coloring from the other toppings, it's not enough mayonnaise. And last, a pineapple dish with mayonnaise on it. 
Gross. But Toko-chan, not only are you a sellout, you're also sick. But at least you have your eyeballs back. So that's something. I noticed one thing that almost all of these product placements have in common. They're almost all food. And if there's one type of advertisement that is very effective on me, it is food advertisements. And I'm feeling very hungry right now. <laughs> I didn't think past this point. <laughs> it's so gross! It's, way more it's so good! <laughs> oh. Turn the camera off! If there's two things I like, it's saving money and being lazy. But if you're not putting a lot of effort into shopping around, chances are you are most likely not getting the best deal. Wouldn't it be great if someone could do all that work for you? Well, that's where Honey comes in. Honey is a 100% free extension you download to your browser. When you shop online, it automatically scans the internet for coupons and automatically applies them to your cart. It's like magic. It works on over 20,000 websites like Amazon, eBay, GameStop, Newegg, Best Buy, and even better, it takes absolutely no effort to install. Just two clicks and you're ready to start saving money. All you have to do is use my link below, join honey.com slash pbg. But it's not just me saying it. Honey has over 10 million users, 100,000 five-star reviews on Chrome, and even people on Twitter have shared their money-saving stories. And for the skeptics out there who think it might be too good to be true, it actually makes perfect sense once you know how it works. Whenever you use a Honey coupon code, Honey earns a small commission on that sale and they pass the savings on to you. There's really no reason at all to not start using Honey today, so use my link in the description below, joinhoney.com slash pbg. Again, that is joinhoney.com slash pbg. Thanks. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe and hit the bell and uh, be alerted when new videos come out. If you want to watch more, check out a recent video I made, Goodwill Games number 7. Had a lot of fun with that one. Or if you want to see more of the mayonnaise game, we played it on PB and Jeff, and you can click that here as well. Thank you so much as always for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye